So it's four weeks today that I fly out to Paris and uh, in the final stages now of, um, of prep. Uh, I'm on my way to Shrewsbury and uh, I'm going to do a fairly long ride from there. My uh, main reason for, for not doing it from home for going somewhere else is just to get used to navigation on the Wahoo, also to ride some of my uh, favourite roads up there which I don't normally get to do. Uh, so maybe a few changes on the bike, it's getting to a stage now where it's nearly final and uh, yeah sort of just the final stages of, of prep, fitness wise it's done, it's more nutrition, kit and getting the last bits and pieces on there. So I've got a frame bag ready, um, in some ways a similar setup to last year. So. Uh, yeah, it's a nice day, fairly early start, and looking forward to doing some uh, roads up in sort of mid north of mid Wales, which I don't normally uh, get to do. So I've left Shrewsbury, and on the first sort of quieter road. Other than that, I couldn't tell you anything because I have no idea of the route until I get to Lake Burnley. That's kind of the whole point. It's just, I just stuck it into a route planner and see where it takes me. Uh, hopefully it keep me off the busier roads. So one thing I've been monitoring recently is uh, an issue I've got with one of my legs. So it's different to the knee problem I was having from the first 600 attempt. It's uh, something I've had for years called external iliac artery endofibrosis. For the last six months seems to have really got a lot worse. And uh, I'm noticing that my left right pedal uh, power balance is quite significantly different to a point now where my normal pedaling just at regular like 200 watts maybe is low 40s high 50s and then if I'm going on a big effort it's about 40 60. So it's just, um, yeah, just trying to keep on top of it and I'm hoping it doesn't get any worse. It's been, uh, yeah, something I've had for, for years, but it's only now the last six months that it started to affect sort of normal riding. And I'm hoping it won't be too bad when I get out to France. So just come round Lake Vernway. Up to now it's been easy. First 50k is less than 500 meters of climbing. But then uh, this is where the fun begins. So I'm on a nice little road, and this goes up to Bocca Grice. Not the famous side, but still a tough one. Uh, last did this racing collective, Trans Wales, and I remember it being a pig. So. Let's have some fun. Not bad, is it? It's probably the main reason for choosing to start in Shrewsbury is to take on this next climb. I think I've only done it once before, but I remember it being amazing. It's one of the highest roads in Wales, and yet you've probably never heard of it, although I can't remember the name myself. It's just a stunning road, it's pretty steep. So that's the route profile for the climb ahead. And it goes up to about 600 meters. And then the views from the top are, I remember, are amazing. And the descent on the other side, absolutely stunning. 
I was about to get tough and hopefully the legs are still feeling good. That's what's next. If you're in Wales riding on the road and you've got gates, you know you're on a rural place. And yeah, this is, I haven't seen a car in miles. Brilliant. I was every bit as good as I remembered. And I've got a long descent. I'm heading way over there into Coyle Brennan and then over to Dog Gasly. So there was uh, another reason for choosing this route, and it's to come to Dog Gasly and visit probably the best cafe and eat the best cakes that you can get. Uh, place TH Roberts, absolutely amazing. That's the last, uh, last big climb done. Although I still got a long way, I mean that's all the interesting stuff done, it's just main roads and mostly flatter stuff back from here. Nothing too exciting to see. Uh, it's still been a really worthwhile ride, just getting little things sorted and it can be things that might seem pointless like uh, what I have on my Wahoo screen because you know normally I'll have power showing, well it means that's just going to be pointless for parry, breast parry and just smaller things like that and where to put stuff in the frame bag, what bags I might need, what I want to do differently against London, Edinburgh, London. But it's, yeah, it's been, it's been worthwhile. I'll, uh, I'll stick like a final kit list and video checkup in a couple of weeks just before the start and say four weeks four weeks tomorrow the race starts four weeks today i fly out uh, yeah it's all it's all looming very closely all right i'll uh, catch you all again and uh yeah just subscribe and i'll i'll get the last videos up um as soon as i can after after parry breast parry